Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to show you. First of all, I'm going to start off with a charity shop find. And that's this here, which you're probably looking at thinking, ugh. And I must agree, it's brown and yellow. It isn't the best of colours. But this is a Lazy Susan. It was £3 in the charity shop and it was new old stock. So it was completely sealed in its original packaging. So, and I just thought, you know what? Look, it spins around and they are really big nice size like storage and I just love it again I always say it but if you've been following me for a long time you know I love these kind of charity shop really original wow who's going to have one of these let me know if you do but um you know they're just you don't find them anymore and it's just really handy because it spins around it's made in Italy I did have a look at this bit and it says here Cos Cosmoplast made in Italy so Alimenti uh, yeah, there you have it. They're like little cake kind of, um, you know, slices. And you've got, what have I got there? Five. And it just sits on this Lazy Susan. So there you go. For £3, I thought, yeah, that's going to be great. And I like it because it's clear so I can see everything in it. I mean, it is like, it's a nice, attractive look. It's just, I would have loved it if it was in more of a kitsch kind of, you know, the bright colours. That would have been really, really cool. But yeah, you can... Oops, you can see the plate there where they all spin. So I'm just going to flip that back over there. Okay, so that's that. Then I picked up these. These are more things that I'm going to be using in the Easter series. I know a lot of you have started collecting bits and pieces that I've been sharing already. So these are all individually wrapped, which is what I like because then I can take them apart. And I got these in Iceland and it was two packs for £3, which for Lindor I thought was pretty good. Um, they're delicious. These are the white chocolate eggs. So I've got those. Then I was watching Hachanda. I have it a lot on my iPad when I'm crafting because it's always on, on YouTube so I can just watch it live. And they had, I think it was pink, was it pink frog? I think it might have been. Anyway, I'll share the links below but I don't know if you're still going to be able to get the offer that was on because they were spinning that wheel that they spin every hour I think it was and you get a different discount and this one was during 10% so I picked up these here which are 12 by 12 super smooth 300 gsm white cardstock and this is it was 9.99 but I got 10% off so I've got 50 sheets which I thought was really good um, it's alcohol friendly because it's so smooth so it's going to be nice to stamp on but it's obviously great for making you know my more unusual card bases and also any 3d projects as well so yeah I just thought for white as well I'm, I'm going to grab those and whilst I had that this was the best one and you know what this is this is a3 holographic card stock again it's 300 gsm and these are how many packs was in this one so I've got a hundred that, that was it so there's 50 here but I cut mine in half so I've got 100 A4 sheets for 19.98 and I got 10% off so to put that to break that down the Dovecraft which is the one that I link and the one that I use is 2.99 for a pack of 10 so to get the same quantity if you brought the Dovecraft would cost you 30 pound so you save 10 pound you know if you've got these ones and the other ones is the craft uk ones that i link and that's their a4 and that is you can get a pack of i think there's a pack of 25 and they're 649 so again to get 100 it would end up costing you 26 pound so to get 100 here i mean i know there's 50 but i will cut these down so they fit into my trays for 1998 and then minus 10 percent I thought was really good and it is it's, it's lovely I mean you can see the patterns there that you know it picks up it's in the plastic still but I will I just sit down and just run it through my guillotine and just cut it exactly through the middle and then I've got A4 but I might keep one pack in A3 because it's really nice to make large gift bags yeah so I grabbed them so yeah I mean some of you might think oh I don't ever really go on there you know they do do like flexi pays and all that kind of stuff as well if that's if that's something that appeals to you but you know they do do some really good deals and I, I couldn't see online anywhere else that was selling like you could get a hundred sheets for you know for that price so if anybody does know and I've been you know robbed let me know <laughs> but um I think I've got a good deal there for the holographic card and this is 300 gsm but I it almost feels like it's more because when you compare this weight to the white card stock 
this certainly feels heavier. So, um, but I, I use this all the time and now I've got it in this A3, I can, yeah, it just kind of opens up ideas to make, you know, more larger or more, you know, unusual cards. So watch your space, but you'll see this used all the time. Then I picked up this, it was actually a lady selling this one on eBay. So I got it for 4 dollars and it is the fuse tool and it's, you've got decorative tips, you've got fuse tip and you've got the cutting tip. So I already have these ones. However, these ones here, especially this one here, will actually seal perfectly for any liquids that I use. So the liquid cards that I've made, the gel card that I've made, I've always used this one here, which is actually the cutting tip. However, it does work but this here is guaranteed and it's like a double seal kind of thing. So although they're decorative, this one here does work for, you know, sealing your liquids. Could you go one way and then you go back the other way or something like that, but it's, um, yeah. So I thought I'm gonna get that. I was looking into getting a, one of those, the actual seal machines, the vacuum machines. Um, a lady actually said about them, I think it was on our Facebook group, it might have been on a comment on YouTube. So I had a little look and there are loads there. And the prices, you know, they vary. I guess if you want to get a good quality one, you're looking, you know, £30 plus. But they do have handheld ones. But when I read a lot of the reviews, a lot of people were saying, you know, don't trust these reviews. They're the reviews by the supplier. Um, I, ha I used it once. It was rubbish. They look great. And I've seen them on a couple of Facebook ads and stuff. So if anybody does have one and they are really good, then, then do let me know. But um, these are decorative as well. So when I've done, like I've shared before, pocket letters and um, just nice to do around shaker cards as well. Clear shaker cards. It's a really nice effect. And I just thought for the price... I'll get these because it's something that I will use. But yeah, if anybody does have any kind of handheld sealers or recommends a not too expensive vacuum one, I mean, you don't have to have the vacuum side of it on, but just the press seal. Because I'm only going to use it in my craft room, I don't really want to be paying £30. I'd probably pay 10 something like that. So again, if anybody's got one that they use and they really like it, then um, yeah, if you can share any links in the description, you know, in the comments, that'd be great. So that's that. And then lastly, I got the new Papercraft Society. This is box number six, and this is by Christina Griffiths. But I'm not going to do the um, unboxing now. That will be in a separate video because I know not everybody, you know, is interested in seeing all the detail inside. But if you do like this, then check out the video that will be shared very, very soon, if not before this goes up. So, <laughs> but either way, it will be linked here if it has gone up um, beforehand. And then I just thought I would quickly pop these magazines into this video. So it's, yeah, I've got them and I thought, oh, whilst I'm editing this video, I will share these ones as well. So this one I get sent, but this one here I've bought myself and I'll show you that one in a minute. The free gift this month is clearly besotted April showers. Really, really cute little umbrella um, stamps there. And then you've got the die to cut them out as well. And the inspiration, I had a little look when I was drinking, um, having a cup of tea. And they're really colourful, really bright. You can see just one idea on the front there. But uh, this is issue 185 as well, if I forgot to mention that one. But you've got Love You, Rain or Shine, Bring May Flowers, Feeling Under the Weather, Happy Birthday and April Showers. And you've got the rainbow there as well and some clouds. So it's really, really sweet. I do like that one. And then the card I featured in this one, which I'm sure many of you are going to recognise because you've totally loved doing this one. And it's the Starfold. And I loved doing this one. So I've used the first edition this was under the under the water under the sea stamp set um sorry die set that i used for that one and i love it and then i've done a simpler designed version there with only your single kind of mats and then this one here you've got mats and layers and lots of decoration and as always step by step but if you see my video then you will um you'll know what you're doing with that one it's just such a fun card i really enjoyed um doing this one as well for the magazine so that is issue 185 of papercraft essentials and then this one I saw it and I, I mean, I've been a huge fan of Creative Stamping Magazine for many, many years. I have loads of their stamps and they are like collectible stamps. So I just adore them. I've used, I use a lot of them that I kind of go to them a lot, especially for sentiments and things like that. But this one here, it is this, which is called, well, the top piece there is the Great, Out, well, the whole thing is called the Great Outdoors, I believe, actually. But this top one is... For the lover stamps so you can just see where the green background kind of finishes there i love for the lover stamps anyway by hunky dory i have many of theirs as well and there's just so many lovely like this scene i love that scene really really nice with the you know the mountains and the forests and the river but you could have that as snowy mountains you know you can really change that up but i also love this signpost 
and it's a wooden one and you've got escape journey adventure home happiness and love which will all fit in there even these tiny like little they could almost be like little badges you know or like on the backpack or something they're just really cool you've got the like a what would you call that when you've cut it's looking at the the stump of the tree trunk you know when you count all the rings to see how old the tree is but I don't know if that's got a name for it like that I know there is I'm sure there is anyway <laughs> that's what that is and then you have the canoe always paddle your own canoe then you've got fishing let's go hiking camping life's about the journey not the destination I like that one you've got the silhouette there she so could do some really you've got quite a few silhouettes here because you've got the tree you've got the dog you've got the the hiker there so you could do those um it was last christmas and i done like the bauble silhouette cards and they were really popular and the the company cardio do amazing you know inspiration and all of their kind of stamps are these silhouette style and you could do that with this that certainly gives me an idea maybe looking through like a camera lens and you could have like a silhouette scene or something i think that'd look really nice I love that one there, the happy birthday, really nice font and then you've got life's a climb but the view is great, that's brilliant, really like that saying, not all who wander are lost, again another nice sentiment, then you've got trees, you've got a little hip flask there and then you've got best wishes and with love, just it's lovely, it really is and I love the hiking boots and then you've got like the dragonfly and the little trail compass more boot marks because you've got them there I don't know if I mentioned them and those would look really good for Father Christmas you know steps you could certainly use this with like white embossing powder at Christmas time I think that'd look brilliant and you've got happy trails time to explore and the the kind of camping mug there I love it I think it's such a nice one and you always get value for money I mean it's a big A4 you know sheet there of stamps they always stamp lovely and yeah I like I said I'm a big fan of this magazine but the nice thing is I don't I used to subscribe I subscribed for quite a long time and got them all the time now I've stopped subscribing because I obviously work on a lot of different magazines and now I can kind of dip in and dip out and get ones when I you know when I want to and this one I just rushed to get straight away because I loved it so it's issue 82 packed full of inspiration even that card on the front is like a kind of like a concertina cut style card there but I just love that backpack as well. I don't think I mentioned the backpack there. Really, really nice. So I'm definitely using this one. I've got an idea already. And I think you're going to like the card style that I'm going to share using those ones. So yeah, so a couple of more magazines to share with you. Okay, so that's it this week. A very quick video. I will link this here because even if it's not got the 10% off, I still think it's a good deal. So if a holographic card is something that you do want to get your hands on and you use it as much as I do, um, look out for the video for that, like I said. And... The tutorials for the Easter series are going to be coming very soon, so look out for those. And uh, yeah, this will be in a future craft room tour, no doubt. I will do one, don't worry, because I get everybody asking me. But um, at the minute, I'm sorting a lot of things out. So once I'm settled, then I will definitely be doing a craft room tour. But until then, thank you for watching. Please give me a you know thumbs up if you've liked this video subscribe because there's going to be loads of cool tutorials and I have some amazing ones that I've already edited and I can't wait to start sharing them all so yeah see you all again soon bye